everybody, Joe Joseph here for the dailysheeple.com and this is your news shot. Sciencealert.com has a piece this $130 million Hyperloop hotel would let you travel between cities in luxury rooms. Now, this is a uh, no change as far as history dictates because on trains, if you go cross country, you can get a sleeper car And within that sleeper car, you know, you have varying levels of um, classes, I guess you could say, where, you know, you can just have a bunk, basically a community room where you just have bunks, to having your own personal uh, room, almost like a hotel room, on the train. But of course, Elon Musk um, pushing the, this, this Hyperloop, which I got to tell you folks, I I like it. You know, high-speed trains are something that's been used in Japan and other countries throughout the world with great success. So why we don't use that here, it blows my mind. You know, you, uh, President Trump, you want to put money towards infrastructure. Now, this would be a, a noble endeavor that would revolutionize travel within this country. You got a train that can go, you know, 300 miles an hour. But it says when you go out of town, you usually need to buy a few nights at a hotel in addition to plane and trains or bus tickets. Brandon uh, Siebrecht, a graduate, architect student at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, wants to combine these components into one experience. He's designed what he called the Hyperloop Hotel, a system that would feature a transit system in 13 hotels in different cities throughout the United States. Now, Siebrecht is the student winner of this year's Radical Innovation Award, a competition for imaginative hotel designs. In June, a jury of seven hotel investors, developers, and architects selected Driftscape, as one of the two finalists over the 65 submissions from 24 countries. The futuristic concept would eliminate the need to buy separate transit tickets from most of the largest cities in the U.S. It calls for hotels in 13 different locations. Seattle, Portland, San Francisco, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, Denver, Santa Fe, Austin, Chicago, Nashville, Washington, D.C., New York City, and Boston, which would be connected by a Hyperloop system. The design was inspired by DevLoop, a real test track for Hyperloop One being developed north of Las Vegas. This is out in the desert. Of course, it was introduced in 2013 by Elon Musk. And a Hyperloop is a mode of transportation that would propel a pod-like vehicle through a reduced pressure tube. Hyperloop One wants the system to be energy efficient, autonomous, and quicker than a plane. And though the project is still conceptual and has experienced delays, the startup said its goal is to deliver a fully operational system by 2020. And for a flat fee of $1,200, Hyperloop hotel guests would be able to zoom quickly between the network of cities all while never leaving their room. Seabrook tells Business Insider, he, has, he hasn't estimated what each night would cost yet, but guests would be able to travel to any hotel destination within the network and even visit multiple destinations in a single day because that's how fast this thing goes. The science or the size be, uh, of the modular hotel, which Seabrook estimates would cost around $10 million each to build would depend on the location. Hotels in dense cities would likely have smaller footprints than ones in less dense areas. And of course, guest suites would be made of repurposed shipping containers that Seabrick says would be outfitted for luxury. And each would include an office, a living room with a flat screen TV, a bedroom, and a bathroom. See, that sounds pretty good. There are no concrete plans, of course, to build the first Hyperloop hotel, but you know what, you could see some some venture capitalist funding or something like that that goes into this, along with doing this to complement. You know, when they built the railroad, as they built the railroad, cities sprung up along each railroad stop. So it would make perfect sense that infrastructure would surround this hyperloop or the construction of, you know. And if you could do an, a one-stop shop type of thing where your travel and your hotel is taken care of in one swoop, I'll bet you that a lot of people will will go for it and jump to it because air travel has become tedious, cumbersome, invasive, uh, and just a downright violation of your rights just to go someplace. And then it's always racked with delays. You're always subject to layovers, oftentimes, Uh, sitting for hours, you know, it's funny because um, sometimes 
you know, you don't really save that much time in comparison to driving, depending on where you're flying because of stops and, and, and what have you. But just the security aspect of it all is enough to drive people nuts. Drives me nuts. Can't stand it. Not to mention the fact that you have to get radiated now every time you go through or you want to fly in a plane. Now, I know they say you can opt out. Yeah, but y- you can, but it's, it's very difficult. It's very difficult. Especially when you're talking about, oh, you have to be there X amount of time before and everything else. You know, yeah, I want to be there two hours before so I can jam a thumb up my keister and just sit around and do nothing. Just to get to my next stop to sit around with a thumb up my keister and do nothing. You know, a Hyperloop hotel would be, or a Hyperloop hotel combo would certainly be much more uh, desirable and probably a lot more efficient than air travel. I would wager to guess if the Hyperloop actually takes off and you can start going to major metropolitan areas, I'll bet you that within a short period of time, you might see air travel become obsolete. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at TheDailySheeple.com. Have a great day.